gender identity, politics, abortion, social justice. These are just a few of the issues that will stir up a wide range of emotions and convictions. And yet our culture is in a state of deep confusion, and I don't need to go into much detail to unpack the truth of that. We believe at Boulder Mountain that Jesus has a word, and he steps into the issues of the moment, and his words are always better. Words like hope and grace, truth and freedom. For many of us, these are not just cultural issues, but they're very personal issues. They affect family and friends and people we live and work with. We might want to speak truth, but how do we go about doing that? What do we say and how do we say it? How do we love deeply and still speak with strong convictions? How can we be compassionate and civil at the same time? What does Jesus have to say about all of these issues? We're going to spend a few weeks in a series called Jesus And. And each week we'll be looking at a specific topic as we look at what does Jesus have to say and how does he say it? And how, as followers of Jesus, how can we speak truth and grace? Uh, one side, we want to be people of great compassion without compromising biblical conviction. I'm going to ask for prayer as we go through this series. Prayer for each week that we would be known as a church of grace and truth. I would encourage you to consider inviting a friend or family member for one of the weeks or maybe the entire series of Jesus and. We'll begin this series by looking at the kingdom of God. For in that, that will set the context for each week's conversation. That begins this week, September 8th, Sunday, Jesus and the Kingdom of God. I look forward to walking through this series with you together. I'll see you on Sunday.